Contractor John here today, and we're going to bring you a measuring trick. Not so much a trick, it's a rule. It's called the 3 4 5 rule. And you use it for squaring up things, like if you're building a deck that's attached to the house, when you bring your rim joist out for the house and you have your front rim joist, how do you know that corner is square? Or when you're building a wall, when you lay out the wall, how do you know that everything's square? Now, you can use a square, Swanson square, framing square. But if you're building a deck and you've got 16 foot rim joists this way and a 16 foot this way, a square isn't going to do you a whole lot of good because the board could just kick out halfway down or something. So you're going to use a 3, 4, 5 technique. And what that says is if you take a point and you measure 3 inches one direction, 4 inches the next, and then across those two points will be 5 inches or a multiple of it. You can use 3 feet one direction, four feet another direction, and then five feet across the points. And you could even go six feet, three times two, or eight feet, four times two. So you got six feet this way, eight feet this way, and then it'll be 10 feet across the points. A little confusing, but let me show you how we do this. So start on your point, the outside of your point, hook your tape measure, and this way we're gonna go four feet here. So you come over here and measure four feet. Now make sure you're on the same plane as where you hook the tape measure, you're on the outside here. You don't want to be marking it on the inside. So you're going to go four feet here, and then on this side, we're going to go three feet here. And we're going to mark three feet. Right there on the outside. Edge. Now, this is where you could use a helper here. If you take this and you have somebody hold that right there, you'll have five feet from outside to outside. And I can see from right here, it's a little bit off. So I'm just gonna move that out. And I'm on the outside edge right here, and on the outside edge over there. And it'll measure five feet across. Then you know that you're square. And we can check that by throwing a framing square in there. And once you get the framing square in there, you can see that it's Perfect, that it worked out really well and that it's perfectly fine. So that's the three, four, five technique used for squaring decks or walls or whatever. This is Contractor John. If you have any issues, any questions, any problems around anything around your home, please stop by contractorjohn.com. Have a blessed day.